What is up everyone? The Oscar Commando here, and this is a Platinum PlayStation slash, uh, slash, apologies, um, trophy and tips. Because I, there was one thing that I really want to show you guys, and this is incidentally my last trophy as well. So, um, this will be, I'm going to name this Platinum PlayStation, but it is sort of a, uh, Platinum, no, sorry, a trophies and tips video as well. Now, the first thing I want to show you is, um, the, with all the trophies, uh, with all the weapons, uh, sorry, the one I really hated in this game, like as you can see here, I'll start from this, all my weapons, well, all my weapons are level 99, but this weapon is still level 9 because I hate using it. It's a stupid weapon that takes so long to upgrade. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to, if you're on the same part as me and you know, you're trying to figure out a way to easily upgrade your weapon, the first thing I want you to do is to delete Every, oh no 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 no! Take away pretty much all of these speed mods and all these health, and buy shitloads of these XP mods and use them all. Okay, that way you'll gain XP pretty much pretty pretty much as fast as you can. Now there's different locations that you can do it. I'm doing it at um this one wherever the hell I am because it's close to an ammo vendor. An ammo vendor is where you want to be. Um, now obviously get out your gun. And then go off this jump pad or wherever it is you're going. And now fire down. Sorry, I'm doing this one head. <laughs> it wasn't. I'm not very smart at this. Um, throw down your mods, and you can see at the top there. Which I'll zoom out. You can see at the top there. The XP. It, again, it's not going very fast at all. But this is as fast as you can probably get it. And if you just sit here, oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, I dropped the controller. Oh. Now, if you sit here, pretty much you um, these shields will gain XP for you. Uh, it's much easier to get shots on your shield rather than having enemies walk through it. I, f uh, I find it much easier to just sit there and continuously let them hit your shield. So I'm just about to level up, as you can see. I'm so close. Put down another shield. It's probably gonna. Again, I'm. Oh, this guy's about to die. I may have to slingshot and do the next area. So yeah, you just sit here and uh, let these guys shoot your shield. There was another place on the uh, like asteroid belt, I think it is, or the asteroid belt place. Oh, yep, he's dead. Yo, he dead, nigga. So I apologize for my foul language. Just grab ammo. That's what's good about being near an ammo vendor. So you can easily pick up your ammo. Hope I don't die. Oh, okay, that was close. Um, which that's obviously a good idea to stay as close as you can to an ammo vendor. Uh, pick up ammunition. Now I'm gonna attempt a slingshot over with one hand. Actually, hold on a second. No, that's not gonna work. Will it? Hold on. Oh my god, no, it's not gonna work. Fuck it. Alright, one hand. Let's do it, one hand! Oh fuck. Okay, no, it's not gonna work. And I'm gonna attempt it anyway. Cause that's how I roll. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Fire out one of these. Alright. Oh crap. Go away, go away. There we go. Alright, I apologize again. There we go. And it's level 10. You know what that means. There it is. Yes. And that is probably the easiest way of getting the Hollow Shield launcher. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave here. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do actually... Yeah, hold on. Whoopsie daisies. Whoopsie daisies. What I'll do is I'll head to the Red Zone station, and I'm going to show you all the collectibles, unlockables, uh, unlockable skins, and everything. Because this is a 100% complete guide, apart from the Hollow Shield launcher, obviously, because I just did it then. Um, which is why I've left this video off for a long time, so I could show you everything's done, everything's ready. So yeah, but first of all, we'll, we'll view this. I'll buy that. 
Everything is bought, apart from these alpha mods, which are infinite. Uh, infinite. You've unlocked reactor, exterminator card, and that is because for the reactor card, you have to obtain all the mega versions of all weapons. Um, these are all the cards right here, the six cards. We'll start from Shell Shock. Ah, I probably should have. Yeah, this isn't a good idea. Alright, so his strength is ammunition, obviously, because he's a lot of. He's like a tank type character. His weakness is heat. Um, ability is the helmet. Uh, debris counters are reset at the start of each round. And element is Libra. I have no idea what that is. Maybe fire? <laughs> I don't have a fucking clue. Uh, reactor, my favorite extent. Oh my god, no. His strength is nuclear. His weakness is nature. His ability is star power. Cards placed next to reactor must be autographed. An element is lollipop. What the fuck? Uh, I call racist. All right, now eviscerator. He's pretty cool. He's not my favorite, but he's pretty cool. Um, strength is mechanical. Uh, weakness biological. Speed eviscerator attacks do damage before all all other cards. Element is insect. Oh, the camera went up a bit there. Uh, Ace hard light. His strength is chemical. His weakness is frost, which is bit, pretty weird, because if you look at it, it does look like he's surrounded by frost or something. Uh, uh, ability is confusion. Hero cards are stunned for two rounds. And element is tire. Again, maybe a car tire. I have no idea what the hell is that, that is. Um, strength is ratings. Weakness is radio. Ability, mute button. Sonic attacks do no effect while Vox is in play. Element is dark. And last one, which is uh, for completing the game on exterminator difficulty, is Luga. Strength is cuddle, weakness, wall, ability, harvest, apple element cards produce 80% more seeds, and element antenna. Um, I just forgot I didn't explain where you, got, uh, where you get them. You get Slugger from, I believe, beating the game on all challenges on exterminator. Uh, Shell Shock you get for obtaining all weapons and Omega mods. Uh, Reactor, you get me you have to get all Mega versions of all weapons, which which I just got then. Uh, Eviscerator, I'm pretty sure you have to do like obtain 100 nanotech. Uh, Ace Hardline, I'm pretty sure you have to get like 400,000 of those dread points. And um, Vox, you have to collect all skill points. So now I'm just going to show you this, which is the meter, which is the meter. I have 928,000 dread points because I've beaten the game three times. Uh, this is my third time, and this is probably going to be my last. I'm probably going to very quickly just uh, power level more for the uh, what's it called, the Holy Shield launcher. Everything on the bots are upgraded. Obviously, I have the dragon because that's like the my favorite colors, apart from black. I like black, green, and brown. That's why. I like that head. Either a combination between that or one of these two heads. But that one looks a little bit cooler, so I chose that one. That one looks stupid. Anyway, so those are all the um, mods. Now I'm going to check out the cheats. And there's one cheat at the very end, which I haven't even seen yet. So, hold on. Just before we do, I'm going to make the assumption that it is the, uh, the Jack and Dexter skin, I think. Alright, so you have Gangster Guns. Uh, mirror, mirrored World, which is obvious. Uh, gangster guns as we hold them sideways, which is a bit racist, but whatever. Remove helmet, where Ratchet pretty much has no helmet for the entire time. Exterminator boss heads, gives um, your bots a new exciting dread zone head. Super morph freezing wrench, uh, morph and freeze your enemies with the wrench. Weather, use this cheat to change the in-game weathered effects. Kill Quark, DZ Strikers are now Captain Quarks. Colorblind for all your art film buffs out there. Uh, morph mod on vehicles, give your dread zone vehicles the morph mod. And ninja mode, move faster, use a, store, use a sword, and wear cool ninja gear. We'll equip that, see what that looks like. That looks so gay, what the hell? Doesn't even, it looks more like a samurai than a ninja. That's so gay. Alright, well, that's all the, everything that's unlockable. I don't think there really is anything else, is there? Extras, maybe? Stats, no, blah, blah, blah. 
Battle Dome win slash loss ratio. Cheat skins. Oh, skins, yep. Uh, other skins. Oh, oh, what the hell? This is different. I don't recall any of these. Armor worn by an Avenger. This rank was achieved by conquering the Tower of Power. What? I don't remember any of these, dude. What? They weren't in here a second ago. These look sick. Vindicator, Crusader, the Marauder. Where did these all come from? These are the second player skins. Hold on, they are. They're, the, they're, bl they're all different colors and they're blue because they're the um, uh, second player skins. That's why they're different. Oh, okay. Well, they look pretty cool, actually. They look pretty cool. Anyway, alright, so that's it. That one looks pretty much identical. Um, alright, so that's basically it. Uh, look, I'm about to do a review pretty much as soon as I finish. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to do my trophies and tips for one part of the game, which I'm going to just show the best way how to get as many bolts as you want. And then I'm going to do a review. So look for that. It'll probably be up in maybe three hours because it takes so long for me to for the computer to upload a video so um this is the os commando thank you very much and i will see you next time for more stuff ciao